Hello people. Today we are going to see how to use a refractometer. Before starting, please like and subscribe. Refractometry is an experimental technique, where refractive index of liquid and solutions is measured. It is extensively used in food and beverage industry. Refractive index is characteristic of a compound. For organic liquids, as well as boiling point, it can be used for chemical identification. Accurate data can be found on Pub Chemistry website. This is a low-cost optical refractometer. It cost about 50 euro, purchased from the web. It is composed of a prism, cover and lens from which measurements are read. Liquid sample or solution are dropped on the prism, cover applied and the instrument pointed against a strong white light or to the sky during daylight. If no sample is applied, what we see is the following. A scale from 0 to 80 bricks grade. 1 bricks grade correspond to 1% aqueous sucrose solution. Conversion of bricks scale to refractive index can be found from Atago website. Our instrument range correspond to the refractive index range, measured at 20 C under sodium D line, as shown on screen. The conversion formula can be found in reference. Refractometer must be calibrated with water at 20 C before measurements. Our instrument is already calibrated but we show how to. Water at 20 C is dropped on prism. The cover applied. Care must be taken against bubbles. Instrument is then pointed towards daylight. With tool, the screw is rotated until baseline is exactly on zero. This guarantees stability of measurements from 20 to 30 C. In fact, as you can see, water at 23 C gives zero bricks. Once done, water is removed first with a wetted paper towel. Do not use dry paper towel of tissue to do not damage prism. Any scratch lead to incorrect measurements. Then with tissue soaked in washing solvent. We use isopropanol but ethanol and methanol are good too. Acids, bases, corrosive liquid cannot be used or measured. Some solvents can give swelling or damage plastic cover either. Let's start with sample, methanol first. Unfortunately, methanol is less than zero bricks, not shown. Next is 90 degrees denaturated ethanol. Refractive indexes, 20 bricks. Isopropanol gives 26.5 bricks. Butanol, 52 bricks. Let's switch to esters, ethyl acetate shown a refractive index of 24.5 bricks. Amyl acetate 39.5 bricks. Final results are summarized in table 1. The resolution of our refractometer is 0.5 bricks. From that, uncertainty percentage of each measurement is calculated. Bricks grade are converted into sodium D-line refractive index using formula displayed and compared with reference. Error percentage is calculated from the two refractive index values. We see the error fit within the uncertainty of our instrument. It means results are acceptable. I thank all of you for watching. Wishing you to have fun with refractometer. Stay tuned. See you next video.